Hello there, you're watching New Vision TV News. My name is Lynn Komjisha. Here's what's coming up in our bulletin. In around Uganda, Professor Omaswa has been awarded and no toddlers are allowed in prisons. In news around the world, Japan Prime Minister has warned African leaders. In a special report today, we look at making money out of croilers. Hello there once again. Thanks for joining us. My name is Lynn Komjisha. In news around Uganda, Professor Francis Omaswa, a Ugandan cardiologist and medical scholar, has been awarded by the Prime Minister of Japan, Shinzo Abe, the third Haidi Noguchi Africa Prize for his towering role in medical research and services in the world at the Meiji Keinakan Hotel in Tokyo, Japan. The other winner of the prize is Dr. Jin Muyembe from DRC. Omaso has been honored for his dedication to addressing the global health workforce crisis, including education, training, retention and migration of healthcare workers, and for building for people health and medical systems, not only across Africa, but worldwide. A former Director General of Uganda Health Services and a one-time Chancellor of Bisitema University, Jika, lauded Omaswa for his untiring service to humanity in the field of medicine, citing stints at the Global Fund to fight TB, AIDS and the Malaria and Independent Review Commission of Global Alliance for Vaccines and Immunization. Now as founder and executive director of the Global Health Workforce Alliance, Omaso is credited for leading multiple efforts to create health systems and workforces that can propel Africa towards realization of the health for all aspirations of the UN Sustainable Development Goals. In Lira District, the Electoral Commission has commenced activities for 2021 general elections by demarcating electoral areas and reorganizing polling stations. The activities will be to fill the over 42,000 electoral positions in Uganda and are expected to increase after demarcation and reorganization. During a training in Lira, the Chairperson Electoral Commission, Justice Simon Biawakama, said as part of the revised 2000 2020-2021 general elections roadmap, the Commission will commence demarcation and reorganization of polling stations on 2nd September and end on the 4th of September. The Commission, according to Biobakama, they will publish the demarcated electoral areas in preparation for the general update of the National Voters Register. He identified some of the strategies to improve the electoral process as regular and interactive dialogue with political parties and organizations, enhancing the principle of transparency and regular engagement with the media. The training attracted RDCs, cows, regional police commanders and representatives of political parties, districts from Lango and Choli subregions. Now news from Rango District, President Yoru Museveni has strongly advised Muslim men to provide a balanced support and care for their spouses as an effective measure to safeguard their children from going astray. In his speech delivered by the Land State Minister Pasis Namuganza during the installation ceremony of the Rango District Kadi, Sheikh Ismail Chibule at Mbilizi Education Center President Museveni said the young generation are not properly knowledgeable about the history of the country. Sheikh Chibule replaced the late district Kadi Juma Muwesi, who passed on last year. President Museveni asked the people to shun non-developmental politics that may mislead the children. He said engaging in development programs, including Operation Wealth Creation, should be embraced to improve home incomes. The president also said peace and stability is crucial for progress. He said policymakers, civil society organizations and religious leaders should promote national development programs to elevate the nation to better levels. He appreciated Muslim leaders for supporting government programs and mobilizing people to provide an enabling environment that promotes freedom of worship. Now, closing off news around Uganda is a story from Gulu District. Children who are more than three years of age are not supposed to stay with their mothers in prison. The Commissioner of Uganda Prison Service, Johnson Biabashija, told the press at a conference in Gulu town that the law provides for up to 18 months 
for a mother at Uganda prison cells to stay with her child. He said in a situation where their daycare facilities such as Luzira, Mbale, Jinja and Mbara prisons, the children are kept separately at the daycare centers. Birashija noted that the problems of having children living alongside their mothers are still noted at Gulu and Chitugum in Acholi and some other districts with government prison cells because of lack of daycare facilities. Bibashiza disclosed that there were over 59,000 inmates in the various government prison cells, 52.8% being those convicted and serving their sentence, while the rest are on remand awaiting justice by the judicial courts.